the, regarding the last question, isn't ego part of the experience? Um, ego is the experiencer. All experiences are only for ego. There cannot be an experience without an experiencer. So the experiencer of all experiences is ego. So in order to experience anything other than ourselves, ego is essential. But why do we want to experience anything other than ourselves? <laughs> what is real is only ourself. So experiencing anything other than ourself, as Bhagavan says, is ignorance. Nana vam jnanam ajnanam. Awareness that is multiple. Awareness of multiplicity is ignorance. So it's only when we rise as ego that all other things uh, seem to exist. Um, regarding the first, the first question, we can answer this by simply by carefully considering our experience. We rise and stand as ego um, in waking and dream. In sleep, we do not rise as ego. So when we rise as ego in either waking or dream, from where are we uh, rising? We are rising from the state in which there's no ego. In other words, sleep. So what is, what is it that remains in sleep? In sleep, what exists is only our self, the pure awareness I am. So we ourself are the source from which we have risen as ego. As simple as that. So... Um, ego is just an appearance, just like the, what is the source from which the snake appears? It is the rope. Like that, the source from which ego appears is ourself as we actually are. If we investigate ourselves to see what we actually are, we will see that we were never ego. There never was any such thing as ego. But so long as we're looking outwards, so long as we're attending to anything other than ourselves, we who are attending to other things, we who are experiencing, knowing, seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, feeling, whatever, <laughs> the experience of the world eating <laughs> is our self as ego. Ego cannot arise from anything that it experiences, but the, everything that it experiences depends on ego for its immediate existence. So ego must rise from that which <laughs> exists prior of, prior to, and independent of ego. That is only our self, our self as we actually are. In other words, the pure awareness, the pure such it, I am. <laughs>